ahead, Honorable Member. Thank you very much. Uh, moving this amendment on behalf of my uh, Honourable colleague, Member for Calgary McKay Nose Hill, move that Bill 30, an act to protect the health and well being of working Albertans, be amended in Schedule 1, Section 75, Sub 1, Sub A, by adding the following after Clause 4. Clause 4.1, evaluation of worker safety training, education, and research with respect to effectiveness and accessibility by all workers in Alberta. Section sub 4.2, translation of worker safety information and outreach with respect to workers who do not speak English or English as a second language. Uh, Madam uh, uh, Chair, um, uh, this um, uh, amendment would uh, add to the creative sentencing options for employers uh, who do not respect or protect the safety of uh, their workers. Um, it explicitly adds to the list of available creative sentencing options to fund translation, outreach, and evaluation in support of worker training, safety, uh, education, and other initiatives. And I'll note the existing uh, 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 Section 75, uh, 1, Sub 4 uh, establishes, um, uh, or really Sub, uh, 70, uh, sorry, 75, Sub 1, a uh, and uh, uh, the subsequent uh, uh, subsections um, uh, allow for uh, the court to um, uh, use uh, a variety of different uh, measures, including uh, training or educational programs related to the health and safety of workers, research programs, for the diagnostic, preventative, or remedial aspects of worker health and safety, uh, any worker health and safety initiative uh, by a nonprofit organization. Uh, the establishment and maintenance of scholarships for educational institutions offering studies in occupational health, safety, and related disciplines, or any other purpose that furthers the goal of achieving health to safety work uh, sites. Uh, the reason I've, we've, we've moved this amendment is to be very explicit that there are certain workers in our society uh, who, uh, uh, with language, knowledge, or job security barriers, they're among the most difficult to engage. Uh, it's very important that we have specific and explicit programs to engage uh, such workers because those are the workers that often have the most reason to not rock the boat, uh, Madam Chair. So again, this is an, uh, a, 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 an authentic, I hope uh, the government sees it as, as, a, as really a genuine attempt to uh, uh, make this bill um, uh, better, uh, to actually uh, to, to improve it, to uh, uh, bring it to a place where um, it can genuinely help the most uh, uh, vulnerable workers in our society. Um, it, it is uh, important that any employer who would uh, ever consider preying on vulnerable workers um, should uh, be shown a path where, uh, it, it, frankly, compelled uh, to be on a path where they can actually help those workers uh, to access the information they need and that they no longer uh, would uh, would would uh, abuse workers in in a way, uh, and if they have been found, uh, in fact, to have done so, it's important they're not only punished and penalized, uh, held accountable for that, but they are actually put on a path where they could uh, 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 actually improve. Which is why we would seek to amend this legislation to explicitly allow outreach and evaluation of worker safety initiatives to be one of the available creative sentencing measures. It would emphasize and reinforce that employers and others who have responsibilities to protect worker safety and rights also have responsibilities to work together to identify and reach the most vulnerable workers who may not be well served by broad-based campaigns. The amendment here to the proposed Section 75, Schedule 1, it's a practical action that those of us in this House can take to make the bill better and make it work for Alberta's most vulnerable and least integrated workers. Uh, and I would hope that, uh, again, we shared this with the government ahead of time, they would see this as a, a genuine and common sense effort uh, to make uh, the lives of uh, some of the most uh, vulnerable workers in Alberta better. And again, would genuinely hope the government would, uh, would accept this amendment uh, and uh, ensure that uh, Albertans uh, are best served by this important piece of legislation. Thank you.